Tonight, I hosted our Your Voice, Your Future Maryland U.S. Senate Candidate Forum. Congressman David Trone and Prince George's County Executive Angela Alsobrooks answered questions about some of the topics that matter most to voters, highlighting their track records. The entire leadership endorses us and supports us because they understand we get stuff done. We get stuff over the finish line. There are people in Washington who think voting is all of it, but I've been able to not only get the funding, but to turn that funding into real infrastructure. Good evening, I'm Maxine Stryker. And I'm Kai Jackson. Things did get heated between the two candidates at times, particularly when it came to the topic of money. Fox 45's Mackenzie Frost was a panelist on the forum tonight. And Mackenzie, what did the candidates say about campaign funding? Well, Maxine and Kai, campaign finance is an important piece of this conversation, especially in this race, because Congressman Trone is self-funding his efforts. He has spent more than $40 million on the race so far. The congressman says that's what keeps him independent from corporations. Meanwhile, County Executive Angela also Brooks was quick to point out Republicans that Congressman Trone has donated to in the past. What we have seen in this race before, uh, having spent over $45 million of self-funding, uh, the highest ever in history, I don't believe this is the way democracy works. Um, I think that we should have a reform in these, in these campaigns. That's the reason I'm pleased to have been endorsed by N Citizens United. We got to get the, the, the big money out of campaigns. Um, and I would support um, that kind of reform as a senator. I'm the only candidate on this stage that doesn't take money from Exxon. They're not helping us in the environment, I don't think. I'm the only candidate here that doesn't take money from Pfizer. Pfizer's not helping us bring drug costs down. I'm the only candidate that doesn't take money from Cigna. I know how difficult they are when I try and make mental health claims. And of course, the only doesn't take money from the National Restaurant Association, who wants to pay our waiters and waitresses $3.65 an hour. But I think it's also, I want to just mention again, hundreds of thousands of dollars that Mr. Trone has spent on these radical Republicans who want to not only um, to ban abortion, uh, who want also, who are anti-union, but also to defeat good, good Democratic candidates. He supported Greg Abbott of Texas, uh, Ken Paxton of Texas. He, is, he has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to defeat good Democratic candidates. I think it's really important for folks to think about who supports who. I guess the folks that really matter the most are those that know you the best, that know you the best. Well, the folks that know folks the best, they're the ones in Prince George County. Eight years, Anthony Brown, now the Attorney General from Prince George County, supports us. Joanne Benson, the longest serving state senator in Prince George's County, supports us. Aisha Brayboy, the state's attorney, Prince George County, supports us. The list goes on and on and on, all with us. Well, the candidates also looked ahead to the general election in the fall. Whoever wins the primary will likely take on Republican Larry Hogan, who has a commanding lead in the polls right now. Mackenzie, the candidates were asked about Larry Hogan directly. What did they say? Well, Larry Hogan wasn't on the stage tonight, but he definitely was the target for both of these candidates throughout this discussion. And really, that underscores the nationalization that we're seeing take place in this race, and we expect that to continue as the election cycle continues to develop. Every single poll has said the same thing. I'm the more candidate, I'm the candidate that can beat Larry Hogan. Not one poll has said anything different. Everyone says, I can beat Hogan. Not one poll has ever said my opponent can beat Larry Hogan because she won't. Mr. Trone says he's the person who can take on Larry Hogan and beat him when not so long ago he was a Larry Hogan donor. Really funding, uh, funding, providing him the funding he needed to carry his, across his agenda, which I might remind you included restricting abortion care in the state of Maryland. So I believe that we do what we don't need um, is a Larry Hogan donor trying to take on Larry Hogan in the fall. And this wasn't the only time the candidates brought up Larry Hogan, the other Republican candidates, or ideals. For much of the debate, both candidates spend just as much, if not more time, attacking Republican talking points than each other. We have to make sure these Republicans who have at every turn uh, really made it difficult um, to, again, get sensible gun legislation, uh, making sure that we have the ability not only to trace weapons, but to get ghost guns off our streets. But also, we've got to work at these big transit projects like we have here, the red line. Larry Hogan took $900 million from Baltimore, said, Baltimore, you don't need the money. You don't need good public transit. 
That's wrong. When Donald Trump was president, um, he really did make a mockery of the United States as a leader. Um, I am really proud that President Joe Biden um, has made America a leader again. Um, in saying so, we have allies. Uh, Israel is an ally of the United States, as are Ukraine uh, and others, Taiwan. Well, as you just heard, the candidates addressed the conflict going on in Israel. Mackenzie, what was their take on a ceasefire? Yeah, both are calling for a ceasefire and more aid in Gaza right now. But the ceasefire, according to these two candidates, come with some conditions. We are six months away uh, from the horrific attack that occurred on October 7th. Um, and what we all agree is that the threat of Hamas must be removed from the world. Um, I believe that we ought to also make sure we're getting those hostages back home to their families who are waiting for them. We've got to be there to destroy Hamas. Hamas is a terrorist organization. He must be destroyed. But that said, we've got to get to a ceasefire with the hostages, 100% of them released simultaneously. These two things can only happen and only happen together at one time. County Executive Also Brooks also says she believes there needs to be a two-state solution for Palestinians as well as Israelis. Kai and Maxine. Mackenzie, thank you. Now, the panel also pressed the candidates on reproductive rights, notably when it comes to abortion and in vitro fertilization. There's no role for the federal government to moderate and regulate a woman's, woman's health choices. These are the choice between a woman and her doctor, and no one else should be involved in that. Certainly no person in the political specter. Absolutely not. Well, I can tell you that this issue is a very personal one to me. Um, as the mother of an 18-year-old daughter, I believe so firmly that the privacy and freedom that women deserve to make their own decisions about their bodies des are, belong to a woman and a woman only. Um, it is so outrageous that we are at a time where it is not only abortion rights that are under attack, but we see now that these Republicans just won't stop. Their reproductive rights are on the ballot. That we see also when we see IVF, we see uh, that in Arizona now we have Republicans who want to charge a woman with a crime and incarcerate her for making decisions about her own body. And that brings us to our question of the day. Who would you vote for in the Democratic primary? Angela also Brooks or David Trone? So far, 72% of those who voted say also Brooks. Head to foxbaltimore.com slash vote to weigh in. And ahead at 1030, political analyst Richard Vatz joins us live with his assessment of how the forum went. And if you missed any of tonight's forum, you can watch tomorrow from 2 to 3 p.m. on Fox 45 or from 6 to 7 p.m on the CW. You can also watch Sunday from 1 to 2 p.m. on My TV Baltimore. The entire forum is also available to stream right now at foxbaltimore.com. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.